Gang, we are back. This is part two of this playthrough. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I ended part one a bit earlier because we was doing the, um, the talisman and I was so clueless to like what the code was. So I was running around the whole house looking for everything and the clue was actually up here all along. I feel like an absolute donut. But anyway, we're going to get back into it. Um, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Let's do it. Yeah, there's been a lot of mixed reviews on this game, but I am enjoying this game. I am enjoying it a lot, honestly. <laughs> Fucking hell, here we go. Here we go. Huh, I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. All right, we are we are in Jeremy's mind. What a dark mind, though. What a creepy mind to be in. Hopefully no jump. Well, there probably will be a jump scare, but let's just anticipate. <laughs> let's anticipate it. Can we go in here? We can, nice. Let's have a look at this. Oil, oil rig report. May 1923, Monday. All okay, ready for delivery. Maintenance, oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. Workers seem nervous about his presence. The Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Nah, huh. that's some dark shit right there. No loot in there. I mean, it's nice that the door closes by itself because then it's like, you know, I don't have to worry about monsters or anything running in. But at the same time, it's, it's slightly annoying as well. Cause there's always that, that little scare, you know, that little jump. All right. Um, I think that's everything, can it? Can we go out the back? I really need the key. key. In this game, one thing you need is a key. If you do not have a key, good luck. Yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on this game, but honestly, I'm enjoying it a lot. I feel like there's so many critics and there's so many people that have opinions on, on things, but just play the game for yourself, man, and, and see if you like it or not. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. Um, so yeah, if you've, if you've been on the fence about this, definitely give it a go um, and see how you feel. I think it's a good game and it's living up to its name, honestly. That door would have been closed, right? I always run past the door and then try to go back in, but now it's jammed shut. Locked. So we have to go around. I hear something in the water. Door, can you close, please? 
Alright, we need some more bullets. This is loaded up. Locked. Oh, it opened. Nice. I thought we still couldn't open it. We got it open there. I guess that's the key for the other room. Mm. Right, let's... You can't... Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Yo. <laughs> I am an absolute mess. There's something missing. Alright, let's go back there. We should be able to open this door now. Wow. Can we swim? I don't know if we can. I am definitely not wasting my bullets on them there. And I won't be going swimming as well. I wonder if we reload before our time is due, do we waste, um, do we waste ammunition? Because if we do, then I have to be, I have to be a bit resourceful with my um, bridge lever. Okay, we found it. <sighs> Got it. I have to be a bit resourceful with my um, reloading anyway. I heard something. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Run, 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 run. Oh my god. That shit is tough. <laughs> I am all over the place. It worked. Gotta go back and get that. Uh, that's a health health bottle up there. No way. Don't don't fucking break. Oh I thought it broke there. It'd be nice if you could do one headshot, right? Take him out. That would be good. Nothing worse than opening a crate and receiving absolutely nothing. Let's see if we're leaving anything here. I don't think we are. Just that uh, door down there. What the fuck was that? Oh, oh, we can't get me on here, right? It can only get me when I go into the mud. Oh, it can! Oh my god. Four shots. <laughs> my neighbours are going to be like, can you shut it, please? Yeah, I can't, mate. This game is... It's a bit much.
We need some more ammo though, for sure. It looks like they're reserving the ammo in this part on purpose so we can um Okay, it's a weapon. Let's use that then. So we can use our melee, melee weapons instead. It feels like certain parts, certain areas of the game, there's a lot more ammo dropping. And this part, there's a lot more melee weapons uh, dropping that we could use. Uh. Let's try the shovel. We've used the axe already, so we're gonna try the shovel now. I thought it couldn't go on this part though, but I guess it can. Some more needed, some more needed bullets. Some much needed bullets. Okay, let's go. Oh my God, let's use a shovel, let's go. Oh, we're running, we're running, we're running. Oh, we running. Let's go. We are. We are. Oh, okay, we got the other shovels there. We can smack him with that. Where the fuck are they? Well, where is he? Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. I know, he's still alive. All right, one more hit should do it. Where are you at, son? Where are you at? Oh, I forgot about the dodge. I forgot we could dodge as well, shit. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. We've got to use that dodge. All right, bet. We're going to remember that. Pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Like a shovel, maybe? <laughs> what is going on in here, man? Oh, on smoke. On smoke. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. I feel like we're fucking surrounded. One more hit, my thing's gone. Let's get ready. It's a lot of these. Alli what are they? Alligators? I don't even know what they are, but. There's a lot of them around. There was nothing in here for us to collect. No. Okay, can we head over there? Let's head over there, see. Oh, we are, we are. I ain't even waiting around. We can't pick up that shovel. Can I punch? I'm not even sure if I can punch. Okay, gazing statue. 
that might come in handy for some regards. Some much needed bullets, thank you very much. Those monsters almost like camouflage and bend in, blend in with the, with the interior. All right, we need to find another mini weapon as soon as possible. And some more health. You can't pick up that shovel, which is shit. Oh, we can sneak. Okay, let's sneak. Where would it help if we snuck? They can still sense us, right? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Ah, they can't sense us if we sneak, okay. They're still gonna fucking sense us, though, I know it. Ah, through the sound. Gotcha. We on smoke. Oh god, let's run, let's run, we're running. We running, heal up, we out. We running. We gotta fight him. Fuck all of the other shit, bro. We are. I guess we should have snuck, bro. It's gotta be way on the other side. I jump. This is some bullshit, bro. Bro, what the fuck was that? What was that? Honestly, like, I was literally stuck on nothing. Alright, let's try and play the game with the way it was intended. Let's see how it goes. Maybe we can crouch. to go up. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, okay. He was meant to go up. Makes sense why I got fucked up the first time. Oh, shit.
Because when I was when I did the last one, I was like, how the hell did I die there? And I would have actually died again if I didn't spot that ladder, because I would have did the exact same thing. But that was clearly a part you didn't pass. Wait, there's something there. Okay, tough cloth. Yeah, come on, Carmi. Would you rather fall to your death? Oh, that's what we need a tough cloth for. He's such an action hero, isn't it? Such a cool guy. Right, that was... That was a close call, to say the least. We keep moving down. Oh my god, fuck it up. Oh god. What the fuck? You can't see me? No, you can't see me, okay. Oh, we on full stealth now. We are on full stealth mode, believe that. Because my gun ain't doing shit to that. We are on full stealth. What the fuck? Easy does it, mate. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. My God. I wonder if we can run. We probably can run, but I'm a bit too scared to run. So we're just going to stay like this until we get there. I really just want to fucking sprint. But I feel like I'm going to get murked if I do. So let's stick with what's working. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in this book. I'm playing like a little bitch right now. It's working, so we're going to continue to do that. All right. I think if we had that shotgun, we would have been able to, to take it out, but yeah. Without that shotty, this pistol is, or this magnum is not really doing it. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSeto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. Stop fucking. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. Wow. Oh, Christ in heaven. So she's still stuck there. That's shit, you mate. All right, surely we should be able to get this fucking shotgun there, please. Okay, pellet knife. Oh, maybe we can use that to shimmy open the the case where the shot shot he is. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts, by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. 
True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Mm. Some deep shit. Sitting room key. Okay. Ooh. Come on, we must be able to open it now. We still can't open it. Oh, that's so shit. Okay, so we have the drawing room unlocked now, so we can head there. It's wedged shut. Ah, okay, we can use the pellet knife now. It worked. Barlow lens instructions. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. Okay. She's telling us about the cellar key. That was downstairs, right? Where the boiler was. Let's have a look at this, though. I don't think I have everything I need. We have to find the lenses. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you should be able to do something here, right? With this. Oh, wow. Now we're talking. Nice. How did that open? I'm not complaining. Okay, that's what we need. We need we need a big boy. We got it now. Huh? What? Someone's either smoking loud in there or We've got like a final boss we have to face. Oh shit. We gotta take him out. Oh shit. Headshot, headshot, headshot. All right, we got the ax, let's go. We don't smart, man. Fucking hell, mate. Almost got murked. This came out of nowhere. Have I got any more healing? I have not got no more healing. The way how he just goes back and forth, like, it's just crazy. From one world into another. It's mad. Still can't open that. I need some help, please. Oh, we can go upstairs, right? There's something wedging that door. If I can get up there. It's wedged shut. It worked. I would love to know, are none of these people experiencing this for themselves? Detective Conby. 
good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. Hmm, <laughs> she's definitely just living in her, in her own world. Right. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. It looks like it's finished, mate. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. All right. Well, nothing's gonna happen there. Oh, yes, we've got some health. Thank you. <sighs> Much needed. Can we go around the other way? We can. Let's see if there's any other items we can pick up over there. Oh, amazing. I'm going to save that for a rainy day. So we are here right now. Let's go through this door. Ah, okay, that leads us into the hallway. Wait, that one was jammed shut, right? No, okay. Let's go back this way and see what's on the other side of this door, if we can enter it. Which we can. Up or down, that is the question. Shot is out, ready. I think the ammo for the shotgun is a little bit scarce though. What the fuck? Can't enter there. Though. I guess we have to come back to this uh, to that part at a later stage in the game. Oh, amazing, Doctor Jen Doctor Jenkins, lo lotions, lotions. What does this do? Huh. Okay, this option wasn't there before. So open the window or close it. Nurse watch. We just collect it. See everything. We just collect it. We keep it moving. We 
do need to go to the wine cellar. If I remember correctly, we have some unfinished business down here. Uh, a piece of plate. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. All right, so she chucked it in the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Right. Oh, we have the, do we have the lever for this, actually? There's something missing. No, we don't. Okay. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Alright, um, in the little room. Let's have a look then. Maybe the wine cellar key? Yes, that can get us into that little room. I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Promise I didn't, you, I, Mr. Hartwood is I nowhere near my for... kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. She's as crazy as the demons. Can we go back in? I oh, know she really locks it. Okay. I don't think she needs to worry about um, Jeremy and his dark, twisted fantasies because she is, she's scary enough already. Well, those roaches are massive. Okay, we should find a piece of the plate in here, I think. Forsaken Crucifix. Damn, a big ass rat. Before we do that, let me see over here. What's that a switch? Okay, that's a switch for the uh, hmm. boiler, right? Oh, maybe not. It worked. Beautiful. In complete darkness. Okay, that's to stop the steam. You don't see the shotgun, actually. How powerful it is. Oh, I see you.
Yeah, I saw you, mate. I saw you. Nice, we can cross. Let's double check we're not missing nothing here. So two shots with a shotgun. Jeremy? Oh no. Is that an imagination? <laughs> Where's the body? Okay. That's the piece that we need for the puzzle. Um, let's head back and solve the puzzle then. Have I used a pickaxe? I haven't really used it. I hit someone with it like twice maybe, but I think I've still got some more wear and tear in there. And we just need one more piece. Wait, this door was locked. Nice. There's something missing. Well, we don't have the piece for that yet. There's a lot of puzzles in this game. Let's go in this first room. Oh, I thought he was going to say you need a key. That is creepy as fuck. This must be that kid's room. And she's not scared? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Why does she seem so familiar? Nothing else. Oh, she's pretty good with the art though. Okay, good at drawing. See, we've got a little creative one. out there you drawing something nothing special I'm just bored do I know you from somewhere I remember you mr. Conby from where don't touch that Cassandra wouldn't like it she wouldn't like it at all do you know where she is I'd rather not talk about it it makes me upset Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. She is beyond the years. Seems like she's been here before. Run. 
abroad again. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For oh, some reason, okay. I thought she died years ago. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Oh, wow. Okay. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Right, well... Is, huh. is that the other piece? That could be the other piece. Amazing. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Look for numbers on the bottle. Look for the numbers on the bottles. So two, five. Two, five. Um, is that one and seven? Two, five, one, seven. It's another one of those strange padlocks. So many puzzles. I don't even know what the thing is, and I'm just trying to open it. Look, and press the journal to convert your numbers into symbols for the... Okay. So the journal, where is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, okay. So two, five, seven, two, five, seven, two, five, seven. I'm gonna listen to you in a bit. Oh, that it doesn't go back. Two, five, seven. So two Pisces, three, four, five, Gemini, Pisces, Gemini, three, four, five, six, seven, and Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Leo. If I can remember the bloody signs, I can't remember it now. Is it this one, and then Leo. There you go. Broken plate, that's the last piece. Amazing. It's another piece of broken plate. Um, what does this part say? So, the medicine bottle had stains of rot on the label, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Well, we found that purpose now, so let's go. That's everything in there done. I think we have the last piece we need for. Uh, for the boiler room. No, nothing in there to take. Is she back in her room? All right, there is a shortcut to get back to the boiler room. I just can't remember how. Fucking hell, you get so lost in this game. So we have to go back downstairs. Wait, we can go through here, right? There we go. The 
We still haven't found our health, which is absolutely crazy. Now we've got to figure this out. Fun times. We're getting some progression, some progression, slowly. No, that would be here, right? I want to figure it out. I guess to. Right, so we've got the bottom half. Just to get the top half. Mm. I know you're probably watching this and being like, it's right there. It's right in front of you. Oh my gosh, this guy is so blind. Yeah, I am a little bit. This part, this part is not right or something. Got it. Jesus. Hmm. Okay, so instead of me running around looking for the talisman, or the code for the talisman is right here. So let's get it. It should be five, seven, nine, or seven, five, nine, seven, five, nine. Let's see if we can get it first try. It's right there, right? Surely I'm not reading it wrong. I don't think I am. Hmm, okay. Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. All right, that's the cellar that we was in. Oh, they opened the door for us. Okay. Somebody lit the candles. We're about to pray or something. I don't know. I knew it would work. I'm getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. All right, there's something here. I was praying that it wasn't a brick. Thank God for that. Because those bricks are pretty useless. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's double check we're not leaving anything that we could have picked up. Two ways, which way shall we go? I'm gonna go inside. 
The Hartwoods family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. She's not a Yankee. All right, just a bit of information there. Yo, I love what they, I love what they done with this game, bro. The blessing, key item. What's this? I don't know what I can use that for. Maybe put it on here. Now, what do we got here? Uh, okay, there you go. <sighs> got it. Amazing. Let's get that sledgehammer. There was another part to go around there. I'm just going to have a quick little detour to see if we're leaving anything. And we are not, okay. We could just go here just to go around. These developers, they do that on purpose, you know. They add little pieces like that, so they make you think that you're leaving something. Oh, shit. Big hit! Big hit! Big hit! Oh shit! Big hit! Big hit! Big hit! Big hit! Need to heal up. I should have shot him maybe. But I've got no health now. That is... That is great. It's not actually great, but... I thought this sledgehammer would do maybe one or two hits and you know, we're good. But I guess not, we're really using that shotgun. Ah, much needed. I think the best strategy is to shoot once or twice, hit him, shoot again, and you know, take him out quicker that way. Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. I don't think I have everything I need. No, you definitely don't. <laughs> Fucking off. Don't start, mate. Oh, we see you in the distance. Let's see if we can catch a shot from here. Oh, fuck sakes. I'm such a dog. Oh my god. We out of here. And all souls just use a shotgun. I was just getting ready to book it. We still got a little bit of health. We can crouch, right? I keep forgetting we can crouch. Let's pick this up. A brick. So many bricks here, but they do absolutely no damage. Sneak mode. Splinter cell mode. Can we shank them behind or something? Or we can just sneak past them? I really just want to shoot them, to be fair, but I don't know if we can. 
We're gonna alert a lot of them, right? If we do. But we could just sneak past them. Let's just sneak past them, man. Instead of causing some ruckus. We'll sneak past and get the ammo. Because they can't see us, they can only hear us, right? That's what I'm assuming. I may be wrong. If I am, I'm booking it. I am gone. What was that, a bullet, sir? No, that was a brick. Okay, we got one We're running around that side. Oh, I don't think you can see me. I don't care if you can, I am going through here. Okay, maybe sneaking might be the best bet so we can preserve some ammo. It's blocked. I don't think I missed anything there. I hope I didn't. You know what, let's heal up. So yes, take a little bit more damage. I thought there would be something in there. Yep. nice. I wanted to try and light him up, but... He didn't run into the path. Before we go down, let's see if there's anything else up there. Oh, this third hammer's pretty strong. Well, since we put in the work here, we're gonna go down there. Okay, the music just randomly stops. I'm gonna bring the big boy out. No, nothing. That's the second medallion that we need to get. But we, it seems like we got some other people to fight off. Let's just sneak around actually. Okay, keep sneaking until we can't anymore. Oh my God. Motherfucker, man. He can't do nothing, right? I'm gonna leave my bullets. Damn, I just wasted two shotgun ammo. That probably wasn't smart, but I felt like I had to. Let's get the pistol out for now. I don't think I had to shoot him, honestly, but, but we did anyway. Okay, so this leads us to the other side. Oh, shit. Oh wow, there's two of them. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. 
Okay, fuck it, I'm back. Bob and Weave, my best friend. All right, we're gonna have to have a look down here. Because we kind of, we kind of, we couldn't have done all that work. All of that hard work, not to reward ourselves. So I'm hoping there's something nice down here. around and see. Okay, once you get the hang of the combat, it's not too bad. I just have to remember to keep ducking. That's the, that's the only thing. Remember to duck and it should be a little bit better. Ah, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Is that behind me? Oh, we out. We out. I'm running, mate. You don't go tell me to us. I'm out. Oh shit! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bubble weave, bubble weave, bubble weave, bubble weave. We out, we out. Which way are we going, though? I don't know. Fuck sake. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Are they still coming? I don't know. I am out of there, mate. Tunnels like that? Yeah, I don't play with it. We out of there. What do we got here? Huh? I couldn't even. I couldn't even speak back there. That's how crazy it was. <laughs> You tell it. Okay, you already came past this way, right? Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. You know what, let's just solve this quickly. And get the fuck out of there. Can we go up to there?
feel like this is the right order. There you go. Man, <laughs> that cave part was fucking scary as hell. Oh wow, she died? This can't be the one that I was talking to in the house, right? Please don't touch her. Jeremy, what are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know, it, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. Oh, keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Wow. Uh, uh, I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Tarawaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Let's go and see what she's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Wow, this game is so trippy, so, so trippy. Amazingly put together there. We're gonna search Jeremy's, okay. Trunk, I think it's in this one, right? Yeah, the big one. We have the key for it finally. Barlow lens. Ah, that's for the telescope. Nice. A telescope lens? Why would he lock that up? And then in here. All right, let's see.
Oh my gosh, we got it. That shit took forever. Whoa. Four, five talons, man. Coordinates. Wow. Right, let's have a look. Four bear coordinates. Can we can we rotate it? We can't. All right, let's see where the Jeremy is. had found a way to enter Tarawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Combe suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Alright, but say less, we will resume on part three because... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna... Let's just try and do it quickly and see. Um, move it around quick, see if we can do a little something something. That's a bit out of line. No, that's definitely where we are. That's more in line. That's out. That is, don't know what that is. Okay. Nine, four, seven. Oh, amazing. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Right guys, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Probably part three. Appreciate you if you made it all the way to the end. Peace out.